a simple R um, ANOVA, a simple ANOVA in R right now, um, using a data set uh, on seedling height. So it's a really simple little data set that just looks at the heights of different species after some germination time. In order to get my data into R, I'm going to use the import data set option up in the corner. And then I'm going to navigate to the file that I want to use. I'm going to use this file, seedling height. As I select it, I'm going to put headings here and make sure that headings are selected before I press import. In the bottom script, down here at the bottom, you'll see that it in ported the file as SDHT, and you'll see the file up here with the headings for the columns represented and a four letter code for the species. If I scroll down, I'll see that I have multiple species here, three species in particular. As I usually do, I'm gonna rename this file dataset using this code, just because it's gonna make things easier for me uh, in terms of remembering the way the code works. And I know that data set is always referring to the current data set I'm working with. In any event, you could leave it as it is or rename it, but just modify the code uh, accordingly. I'm using this reverse arrow to store the data set of SDHT into the word data set. Now that I have that all set up, I'm gonna do the command to do an ANOVA analysis. This analysis is gonna compare categories. Um, and so one way to figure out what we're actually doing is to just type plot and within data set, we can either look within data set or we can type the variables we want and we can just make a plot of what the analysis that we're trying to do essentially. Let's, let's break it down what we're, what we're trying to analyze. So I'm gonna look at height.cm as a function of capital S species here, make sure it's spelled correctly, uh, where my data is gonna equal data set. Got some auto prompts there, let's see if it works. Oh, it liked that. So now I've got a really nice little plot that shows me what I'm after in an ANOVA. The command to actually do the analysis in jump is, or in uh, R studio, excuse me, uh, and in R is very simple. It's just the AOV command. So AOV of the same thing I wrote up here above will give me, um, you know, if I, I can put in these same components. So I'm going to just copy that text right there and paste it right there, and I should get my analysis of variance. Now the problem is that it did this command, but there's a lot that's hiding in that analysis that isn't displayed in the auto uh, after the prompt, after that command. So the AOV did a full analysis, and it gives us sums of squares and residuals and degrees of freedom for the factors that we're look at, looking at um, in kind of a version that almost looks like a, a sideways ANOVA table. And what we might want to do is get a more elaborate or more standard ANOVA table. So here's a way to do that. Instead of just typing AOV, I can store this command in some output. And so I'm going to store it in a word um, that I'm going to call S. Uh, let's, I'll just type it out, seedling ANOVA, let's do that. And I'm gonna store that whole analysis in the word seedling ANOVA. Okay, now when I type seedling ANOVA, it auto prompts it, and you'll see it gives me the same thing, but I can do more with this because now I can use the ANOVA command, which is the command to create a table from the analysis. Um, the ANOVA command on seedling ANOVA. And now I get a more standard analysis of variance table. 
So there you have it. That is just a standard, simple analysis of variance in R Studio. If you didn't follow any of this, just rewind the video, go back through. Um, as always, ask questions. If anything about this is hard to read or the text is hard, just let me know. Mm -hmm.